It's New Year's. Everyone's got one. We got one too. Top 10 whiskeys of 2020 coming right at you. All right, everybody, welcome back to 1090. I am Andy, this is Todd, mm. and uh, we're excited about tonight. We haven't done a top 10 no. list really outside of what we do every Tuesday for on our live That's stream. That's true. Okay, but we haven't done one for a video yet, and we thought whiskey uh, kind of really became a big thing for us this year. We've been notoriously known for our beer reviews. We kind of delved Growing, into whiskey yep. this year, and have kind of it's grown and expanding. We love it, and we, like we actually thought there was a lot of nice releases a in lot. 2020, so we said, We'll give you our favorite. There's a lot of them floating around, and so you guys can comment and let us know what you think. Yep. What did we miss? What would you like? What's on here that you don't agree with or you do agree with? But, you know, without further ado, real simple. We sipped on a bunch this year, and the 10 that stood out to us the most, we're going to let you know. So, let's do number 10. Yep. All right, number 10, you saw it on our list. Is a very affordable $25, probably MSRP. Mm -hmm. Old tub, Andy. Number 10 on our top 10 of 2020. Tell everybody why we love this so much. Real simple. This came out. It's a throwback. It's an unfiltered uh, Jim Beam product that is incredibly flavorful that honestly there's not a ton of $25 ton. bottles of uh, whiskey that are just easy sippers like this. Um, you could charge twice as much of this. Yeah. I think it's, it was it was that good. We were impressed with it. A lot of vanilla notes, got some rye spice. Uh, like we said, very affordable, but also a really good mixer. So you're not breaking the bank for something you want to use for for mixed uh, mixed drinks. But yep. but you know you share with your friends, drink it straight. Really good number that 10. Value for the money. I mean, thank your buck. Come on, good stuff. Yeah. All right, there it is. Bullet Blender Select is our number nine whiskey of 2020. Andy, it's, it's one of our whiskeys of the week for our, our live stream. I love the Rye 95, but in 2020, this came out. Tell everybody again why this is number nine on our list. Bullet is interesting because uh, they, they really kind of blew up this year as far as sales are concerned, and this was a big reason why. This is a... Uh, this is hand selected by Ebony and Andrew, two of their their uh, master distillers out there. They went through a bit of a uh, PR nightmare, a yeah. few, and so and and so this rebuilding, rebranding they've been doing. They come up with this with their Brunswick Select, which is absolutely fantastic. Mm. Uh, beautiful pour. I think MSRP around this runs around yes. somewhere in the neighborhood of fifty-five to there sixty bucks. I mean, but it's great a great value. pour, and right now probably the best release that Bullets had in quite some time, even more so than their their tenure and yep. their barrel proof. So. Number nine goes to Bullet Blender Select. Great. Number eight. When you think of Tennessee whiskey, what do you think of? You think of Jack Daniels, right? No. Come on. Uh, George Dickel uh, has some really nice charcoal filtered whiskey. Mm. They are the second, I think, uh, under Jack in in Tennessee. But this year, an 11-year-old bottle and bond that comes out for around $45 and by the way, tastes absolutely fantastic. If you can find it and it's not yeah. jacked up, which unfortunately I've seen a lot of them, you can upwards of $85 for these. Flavor. Um, yeah. Flavorful, like you said. Dark yeah. cherry, maple, um, it's just oak. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful pour. I actually picked up a couple of these because I found a very honest liquor store that said, yeah, go ahead and have them. There, there. there are yep. there are a few of them. But George Dickel. great, yep. great uh, bargain if you can love get your, your hands on it. I absolutely mm. love the, the, the George Dickel ball, the bond. We got a new bottle open here, Andy. We do, so uh, <laughs> let's uh, open it while we get to number seven. There you go. All right, our number seven of 2020 top 10 whiskeys. Maker's Mark, Andy. It's, it's, it's the, P90X? The, the P90X. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> All not. All those letters and numbers get confused. Inside joke. Inside joke, well, we can link you back to live one of our streams. live streams. But, uh, no, Maker's Mark has now, this is their second year, they've done the wood finishing series where they put mm. staves into their uh, their traditional recipe. Love this. This year is the first time they've done two staves, so they actually put in one that was going to give off the flavor of like a heavy caramel, mm -hmm. the other one, a heavy vanilla. The two blended perfectly mm -hmm. together. It's the SE4 PR5, if you can find this Fantastic. one. Absolutely dynamite, a very beautiful, easy sipper. 
uh, that nice. for honestly the ABV does not come through as heavy as you would think. It's, yep. it, it sips really smooth. And a great uh, value, right? Uh, well done yeah. by Maker's Mark. Loved every bit of this. So if, if you've had a comment, let us know. But but uh, that is uh, our number. All right, our number six of 2020. Every four years, there's a presidential election. We're not getting into politics, but the presidential <laughs> dram, Andy, you absolutely love this. I loved it, too. He, if, if you, you, need, you loved if it. If you need a whiskey to get through what <laughs> yeah. has been the circus of politics this year, this might be your go-to because, actually, try this on a whim. This is from Proof in Wood out of Bardstown, Kentucky. Uh, like you said, they do yep. this every uh, four years. Yep. They've also got the Ambassador. They've got a couple other different releases that come. Proof in Wood are phenomenal at picking the perfect barrels. That's their forte. Mm. So for all the MGP uh, people out there that say, oh, you can't have a good, not no. true. MGP, uh, no. some good juice, good stuff. And this is a shining example. If you haven't heard of it, seen it, or been able to find it, look for it. It is one of the most flavorful whiskeys I've had this year. Bought it on a whim. That's High rye, very it's got spicy. 21 rye. It's beautiful. I absolutely rye. love this. Uh, kind of in that four roses, cherry uh, fruit, kind of, yep. um, kind of caramel spice note that comes through and balance nice with the with the fruit notes. Long finish. Absolutely gorgeous. Great. I love it from Proof and Wood. Number six. Six. All right, our number five whiskey of 2020 is Old Elk. You knew I would love this. It's a high weeder. Any tell right up yeah. your alley. It is right up. Um, it's, it's beautiful. And honestly, we just did an MGP product, and if yeah. you uh, know MGP, Greg Metz had been with them for a long time. He was recruited by Old Elk mm. to come out to Colorado and make what they wanted to be the smoothest whiskey possible. Mm -hmm. And so their standard Old Elk is very high in yes. the barley category. This is their high weir, though, however, so which good. is really super Beautiful. sweet, very Beautiful. easy pour. It's uh, aged five years. I haven't seen this actually around here too much. I was lucky enough to snag a bottle in North Carolina, and I am hoping that if I get back to Carolina, I can get another bottle, because this is Amazing. one of my surprises. I love the original Old Elk, the yes, standard. it's great. This is even better. Fantastic. Um, yeah, I know, I know how much you like the high winners, so this is, this is good stuff. Five. But if you can find it, pick it up. All right, so now we're in the top five. This is number four, our Larceny A120. Andy, you know I love Larceny. It's kind of what got me into whiskey in this past year. And then you showed me this. Oh, my I've always liked Larceny. I think it's a great kind of I mean, gateway bourbon. It, it, was, it was for me. But I always wondered what it, what it would it taste like if you really notched it up a little bit and just kind of kicked it with some high proof. Boom. The barrel proof has been <sighs> The best thing that happened to Larceny in a long time, they released three lots this year, the A, B, and C, uh, have all three, and actually we're gonna do a vertical of all three side by side. I, but wait. I think the nod goes to the original, just because it yes. was the first, it was the, what will become the OG of the Larceny Barrel Proofs. And it's absolutely full of flavor. It's, it's yeah, there's a bite on there, but you know what? It's just 20% wheat. full of flavor. Oh. I love, again, it's another high weeder. You're, you're, you love Caramel, those high weeders, but. Vanilla, I mean, all those sweet flavors that you would expect. It's a really, really brown sugar. I remember the first time I cracked it up, I said, <laughs> this this is what Larsh is supposed to be. I, and lo I love what, it. what, $50, $55 a bottle? You can't Yeah, if you that. can get this, again, for, for the MSRP. right price for MSRP, if you can find it, because again, on, on the secondary market, sometimes yes, these I things know. are, are, and but, they're hard to find, but. Make, make friends with your, your local liquor store owners and see what you can do. But buy. at $55, 50 yeah, they're it's great. A steal. I can't wait. I hope this is an ongoing thing because I can't wait to see. And I, I believe, again, there's going to be another lot coming out in 2021. Excellent, uh, excellent bourbon. There you go. All right, so we're top three, Andy. You saw it. It's the Knob Creek 12. And we did a video on this where we did blindly this versus the 15, mm -hmm. thinking in our heads the 15 would win. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing about doing things blind sometimes is you have no, these preconceived notions kind of go out the window. The 15 year had to. It was more expensive, it was aged longer, it had to, it had to be the one to pick. And, it's and had to be. Hands down, the, nope. the 12 is one of the prettiest pours of 2020. Mm. Um, it's actually probably flooding like everyone's list out there because this, is, this is one of the, the 
pretty good knob creeks that I've, I've and they had some beautiful whiskey Vanilla, like vanilla sweet fruit really yeah you know it just um, all, i mean just you know, absolutely we, we had the 25th anniversary we did a video on that that was yeah. really pretty uh the knob creek 129 year got me into bourbon like kind of like larson did for yes. you but this is absolutely a sensational pour that originally was supposed to be a limited offering is now going to be kind of i think part of their uh, yes. their ongoing portfolio so i'm Good glad choice. if you see it Grab it, the Knob 12 is I know a lot of our viewers have gotten this and they're phenomenal. not, they love it. Yeah. And it's good There's stuff. the reason. Yep, there's our number three. All right, so number two, had to throw a unicorn in there. Um, had this and Look, you got another uh, bottle. I got actually ended up another getting two. Bottle. That's how lucky I was. Um, 114 proof, Weller full proof. This came out this year, absolutely sensational. Mm. Packed full of flavors. This vanilla. is kind of a, yeah, like, vanilla is kind of, kind of, kind of uh, shining through on this. Beautiful. Caramel pops. It's 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 a really <laughs> really beautiful <laughs> bourbon. The problem is it's bloody expensive. Well, and it's, MSRP is like around like. It's not supposed to be that high, but the secondary market just crushes it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very hard to find. So this this is one of those I got lucky one day. <laughs> Twice. And I said, you know, I'm not one, can I have two? Like, yeah, sure. So <laughs> if you can find it, it's worth it. If not, if you go out to a nice uh, bar that may have this or something like that, a whiskey bar, it, it's, it's worth the money to try it. Yes. This is just absolutely sensational. Oh. If you're a fan of, uh, well, and again, this is this another one of those high leaders, you know? There, it seems to be the theme of, the, of right. like, for us for for I think so. But um yeah this one and high leaders. So what could be better than one full proof? We have to find out, right? I think we know. Alright, number one, come on. All right, there you saw it. Our number one, you know, it, it's 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 the turkey, Andy. It's the wild turkey. <laughs> it blew my mind this year. In fact, it blew my mind so much that uh, I drank a lot of it. And it's the rare bead rye. There's a lot of my stuff. I do. I've even got my own. <laughs> Thank you, Brent. Uh, what can you say? I mean, this is the number one. Now, it's probably not making the number one list of a lot of top it, tens. It, it may not, but this but, one's just so. Oh uh, man. Are you this, kidding me? This exceeded all of my expectations, and that's and that's what I liked about this. I think the rare breed bourbon from Wild Turkey is phenomenal, and it's a steal for the price. Point. Sixty bucks, fifty-five bucks, yeah, sixty-five and bucks in that range. When I heard there was a rare breed, rye, I was like, oh my God! Again, another North Carolina find. It was not available at the time in Maryland, so when it got this, oh, and so we we've had some connections that brought us up the the, the rare breed rye and. I absolutely love this. This As one of is, our friends would say, <laughs> it's divine. This is a flavor bomb. I would love to know what you all think if you've tried this before, because oh. this is absolutely wonderful. And um, Red Hot doesn't make I your, get like yeah. Red Hot candy, it, it, it's full vanilla, of cinnamon. It's packed full of cinnamon. Cinnamon, uh, cinnamon. So sweet. If it doesn't make someone's number one, which is which is fine, most people are going to say this is still one of the better I mean, pours of, of 2020. But for us, it just kind of hit all those notes. And so in a in a category that we had flooded with high wheat, it's nice that we had a big old rye to kind of end out our top whiskeys of 20. This by far is going to be his gateway. This this is what's going to kind of make him the... Uh, oh no, wait, I'm sorry. I'll come back. <laughs> you can come back. Or you can leave. Just leave this right here for me. That's so, right. Yeah, this is, our, this is our top 10 list. So let us know what you think. We, we, we enjoyed doing this. We enjoyed the whiskeys that we poured this year. We're looking forward to obviously doing oh. this again uh, this year in 2021. A lot more actually probably in 2021 with whiskeys and beer, um, but we're going to yeah. we're, we're try to get some of these higher sought off uh, whiskeys earlier but on. But again, like, things like the Old Tub, the Presidential Dram, there's there's the George Dickelick. It doesn't have to be expensive. Like mm. This whole notion that the good whiskey has to be an arm and leg is not true. Uh, that hopefully was proved. We had a nice balance of some Hard to find some upper end, some some yes. some, some. It's what we've tried. It's, it's yeah, we haven't tried everything. Yeah. yeah. So put your tops heavy low. Let us know what your top ten is. Maybe we've had them. Maybe we haven't. It's going to make us want to go out and try them. Uh, did you like some of these picks? Did you think some were just terrible? We missed them. We'd love to know. But uh, anyway, this was fun, Todd. Oh, I drink. Uh, right. I'll put this over here. In the meantime, <laughs> if you like what you see from Two Ten Ninety, please. Click that little bell and hit that subscribe button. It's going to let you know every time we've got a new video coming out. We've got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Untapped. Yep. Uh, speaking of top 10, yes, we go live every Tuesday night and do our top 10 with 210, where we have a ton of fun with a new topic, and we bring on distilleries. Yes. We bring on breweries, chefs. professional chefs, all kinds of Whiskey uh, of the Week. Guests. Whiskey of the Week, Beer of the Week. We have giveaways, swag like Todd's wearing here with a 21090 sweatshirt on a cold night. Um, <laughs> we, we have memberships and applause buttons, all kind of. We're, we're, yep. we're growing. 
come along with us. We That's would right. love to have you. But 2020, crazy year. One that will probably not soon be forgotten for all the wrong reasons. But the but whiskey was quite This well. is all the right reasons. Cheers, brother. Cheers, guys. We'll see you guys in 2021. I'm out. I need more.